Uh, good morning and thank you for the opportunity to share uh, what we do at uh, SMU. What we don't follow the, the four subject approach, but rather more a uh, thematic modular uh, system, which is integrated and then also with a large emphasis on experiential learning. This is the 25 modules that we offer throughout the, the curriculum, the VFARM curriculum. Um, sure, it's difficult, I can't see here. Um, and then what I've done is, is highlighted the main modules that uh, cover then uh, antimicrobial stewardship uh, and then infectious diseases, and I will cover those, those ones in, in more detail. I must say at this stage that currently SMU are offering the first two years, the uh, last two years are currently still in collaboration with uh, Swanee University of, of Technology. Then the ones in, in green, you will see those are the minor modules where we also cover some areas of antimicrobial stewardship during the, uh, the presentation of those, those modules. In the first year, uh, we do the Microorganisms, Man in Medicine, that is the name of the, the module. Then the fourth year, we've got Pharmacy Practice, um, and then two uh, experiential learning modules, the Pharmaceutical Care, where the students spend six weeks in, in the wards doing pharmaceutical care, not only focusing on, uh, on infectious diseases or stewardship, but actually looking at the patient as a, a holistic entity. But obviously, infectious diseases are a main uh, illness in, in, in the hospital. And then on the hospital pharmacy practice-based learning, there is then more on the logistics side of the stewardship, where they looked at how they address then what is happening from the, um, the logistics side, the dispensing of the medicines, uh, the hang times, and, and so on. If we look at then the microorganism man in, in medicine, then we've got four main topics in that, um, in that module. The microorganisms, microorganism man, and the microorganisms in the medicine, and then we put all three together. If we look at the microorganism, um, so we look at then all the living uh, microorganisms. We differentiate between the different microorganisms. Then we look at the main medical pathology, uh, pathogens that cause then infectious diseases, and then also the characteristics from the laboratory. In other words, if they are then gram positives, gram negatives, anaerobes, and, and so on. Then when we look combined then microorganism and ma man, then we look at the, the contribution to the pathogenicity, uh, the ability to cause the diseases. Uh, we describe the main properties of the defense mechanisms. Um, we looked at then the major components of a body, the immune uh, response to, to that. And, and then uh, in, when we combine the microorganisms and medicine, we then differentiate between the role of your disinfectants, antiseptics, and the antimicrobials. We look at the, the properties of antimicrobial agents. In a small degree, we uh, discuss the pharmacokinetics, and then also the emergence of resistance of to, the, to the different drugs. When then we combine all three of them, we looked at then the microbiology of the laboratory, the principles of treating infectious diseases. We look at the principles of prophylaxis, surgical prophylaxis, other prophylaxis. And then we try to integrate and apply knowledge of pathogens, the disease, uh, what they cause, and then the antimicrobial agents that we use to treat those, those conditions. In the hospital pharmacy practice module, we then look at the rational use of medicine, because it's not only in AMR that you look at rational use, but uh, the pharmacist is involved with rational use throughout uh, treating patients. Then we also look at drug use evaluation so that they can do some uh, DURs, DUEs on the antimicrobials, and then we cover the role of antimicrobial uh, or antibiotic policies. We looked at infection control, which is an important element of uh, controlling the resistance. Then we've got uh, 
few lectures on antibiotic stewardship specific, where we looked at the definition uh, and all the goals of, of stewardship. And then also we cover then the, the PTC, because the PTC is the governance organization in the hospital that also then governs the, the stewardship um, processes. The minor, minor modules, uh, in the first year, in fact, the very first module, uh, we got introduction to pharmacies. They, we introduced the role of a pharmacist. We cover also in the legal aspects, uh, and one of the things would be then, can you hand out antibiotics over the counter and so on. So that is covered in the very first module in the very first year. Then uh, the rest of the other eight or seven modules are more system-based, where we then cover uh, the different uh, infectious diseases in the different uh, system-based modules. From there on, we will not only look at the illness, but we also then look at the antibiotics when used. So that is kind of uh, a revision for what they've done in their, their first year. If I just look at the strategies uh, used in stewardship to improve antibiotics, and then I just looked at what are the areas that we, we do cover. Currently, we cover then a little bit on education and, uh, and the guidelines. Uh, the formulary restriction, uh, prior approval, uh, review and uh, feedback, then a little bit on de-escalation and streamlining, um, and then also surgical prophylaxis. The areas that we not cover uh, are probably not necessary at the level of uh, a generalist pharmacist, um, the dose optimization, uh, we, and antibiotic cycling, we, we not probably not covering adequate, but we probably can address that. If we look at then the AMR strategy for South Africa, uh, where we've got the governance structure, we, we believe we, we cover that, we address it, the surveillance, the resources, uh, the stewardship interventions to a certain degree of a point of care, and then uh, education and then the public awareness. Well, just in conclusion, I would just like to say that um, the bee farm curriculum is only there to create a generalist pharmacist. Um, and as Jane has mentioned uh, earlier, that in my uh, experience with postgraduate students and also with CPD, it's very difficult to integrate the microorganisms, the antimicrobials, and the antibiotic stewardship principles just from uh, a bachelor's degree. And to go forward, we need to focus also on CPD and postgraduate uh, education and then experience is really required to play our main role in antibiotic stewardship. Thank you.